In this week's video, I'm going to tell you about something that failed to happen in the Saskatoon real estate market for the first time in a full year. Hi, I'm Norm Fisher from Royal LePage Vidora and Team Fisher. This is the video recap of the Saskatoon Real Estate Week in Review for January 1st to 7th, 2022. Happy New Year. Thank you for joining me. So the final week of 2021 proved to be the slowest week of the biggest year that we've ever seen in the Saskatoon real estate market. When the dust settled at the end of the year, we had about 5,400 uh, Saskatoon homes sold across the year. That's up from our previous best year, which occurred in 2014. That year, 4,550 homes traded hands. So a significant uh, increase to 5,400 units. In fact, my uh, suggestion would be that we're likely to see some down weeks as we move forward because it's highly unlikely that we're going to have another bannered year two in a row. So the first week of 2022, uh, you know, showed exactly that, where there were 41 units reported firmly sold to the multiple listing service. That's up from 26 last week, but it's 20 fewer homes than were sold over the first week of 2021. Uh, new listings spiked higher from 96 over the closing week of last year to 123 this week. Still, that was down 37 units when compared against the same week last year. Now, um, in spite of the fact that new listings grew and sales remained fairly low, active listing inventory continued to decline now for the 16th consecutive week. And that was thanks in part to about 80 listings that expired at the end of the year and came off of the system and about 35 others that were canceled or withdrawn from the system. So again, today, 833 active Saskatoon real estate listings. That's down 39 from last week, about 77 fewer homes than we had at this time last year. 30 day sales fell to their lowest level uh, that I can remember since I began reporting that number to you. They came in at just 225 sales, which makes a ton of sense with very weak activity over the last half of, of December. I expect that that's going to represent the bottom for a while and that we'll see that number begin to tick up on a weekly basis as we move forward. Still, had a positive impact on months of inventory. Across the broader market, we now have a 3.7 month supply. That's the fifth week in a row in which that number has improved. Um, single family homes inventory is at a 2.7 month supply today, which is up for the, th for the third week in a row from a low of 1.7 months. And condo inventory still sitting in balanced market territory with a 5.7 month supply. The uh, six week average price starting this year is up $18,000 on a year over year basis. The four week median price up about $12,000. For the first time in a full year, no overbid sales, big fat zero. And that hasn't happened since the first week of 2021. What do those weeks have in common? Well, they follow the holiday weeks. The contracts that we're seeing going firm and reported sold this week would have likely uh, been negotiated over that Christmas period between December 15th and December 31st, proving uh, my theory that if you're willing to get out and shop over the Christmas holidays, you're highly unlikely to run into other buyers who are going to place a comp competitive bid and push the price up. We had 36 sales that went below the list price, on average about $13,500 below. Very excited to uh, continue to engage with you over the 2022 year and tell you what's unfolding and what uh, is likely to be a remarkable real estate market still, even though I suspect it'll be lower than it was in 2021. If you'd like more information on the Saskatoon real estate market, you know where to find it. My blog, teamfisher.com forward slash blog. Thank you so much again for watching my videos and for reading the blog. Have a happy new year, a great week. The weather is going to break this week, so some hope is in sight. Single digit highs as we move forward uh, over the next 10 days or so. Take care, everyone. Thank you.